Junior Plane Farming Simulator 19 on Nowhere, Kansas. It's another new day on the map here. Lots of uh, lots of stuff to be done here, including probably feeding the cows, which I think we'll uh, start with that here right away, just so I don't uh, forget. <laughs> not, not like I've forgotten here before, so... Yes, yeah, so we'll make sure that happens. Uh, then hopefully we're going to get on to planting some alfalfa here this episode. And then I've also worked on a couple of other things here off camera as well between episodes. Uh, something just a little bit big, or will be big anyway, hopefully. We'll get that here in a few moments. Actually, maybe I should get some equipment headed that way. That probably actually would be a good idea. Uh, we'll let this unload here a minute. Could really maybe look at uh, like creating a course play course for this. That would probably work. Just have it uh, drive around all the uh, various cow barns here and unload at each spot. I'm assuming that would work. That'd be kind of interesting to uh, try that here sometime. Uh, of course, I can uh, line up with the triggers here, though. That might be the only uh, slight issue with that. Uh, even myself, sometimes these, these are not very big triggers, at least when you're going this direction anyway. And the cows shouldn't be too bad here because we did just feed them yesterday in game time there. Okay, and then just our uh, beef cattle around back here and we should be all done with the uh, cows. Like I said, I want to make sure I get this done here so we don't uh, forget that. Uh, <clears throat> yes. We'll check on the cows here a minute, too, just see what's what their uh, stats are looking like here. Okay, well, that's unloading. What are the cows looking like? Um, Ashires. Yeah, looking like cows, I guess. I mean, uh, next animal in 0.8 years, 0.7 years, 0.7 years, 0.6 years, 0.7, 0.7. Some of them don't even have a number on them yet. Uh, that's kind of the discouraging thing about the cows. You have them by the time these cows are actually going to be doing anything for us. I, I don't plan on playing on the map that long, so... Uh, one years old. Yeah, the, uh, beef cows here might be able to... By the time we can go wrap it up. 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Yeah, that'll bring us to, what, next summer? Yeah, so, yeah, we should be having... Oh, these are 0.5. That's 0.5. Oh, okay. I think that's the shortest number I've seen. Yeah, that's still half a year. I went six months, two seasons in the game here. And it's still quite a while yet. Uh, the red poles are definitely getting heavier. Okay. Anyway, on to the last uh, pen here. And I plan on uh, making a few trips to the store here this episode as well, everyone. So, yes, yeah, so we'll probably uh, buying some stuff for the uh, project we got going on on the opposite corner of the map here. We have not been to the uh, corner of the map we've been working on here yet. Uh, by the way, between episodes, I did finish fertilizing. At least I think I finished fertilizing. I should probably check the hired workers. I threw the hired workers on it. Hopefully they uh, finished fertilizing and liming and all that good stuff here since last episode. I guess I probably should uh, check on that. And then the uh, project I was working on probably took me a uh, good two, two and a half hours, everyone. This uh, little project, uh, it's kind of similar to a project we did uh, a few episodes back. Oh, nothing particularly new, but uh, started filling up there. Oh, uh, let's go check on this field here a minute. How's this uh, field looking here? Like the lime is done. Excellent. I didn't check the map here, and I was thinking about this here, everyone. Between episodes, I realized, uh, seeing how we plowed the grass under here, we're probably actually pretty good on fertilizer, right? No. We're not? Really? I would have thought we would have been here. Come on, update. There we go. Ew, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a bummer there. I was hoping uh, I could get away with two applications of fertilizer on this field. Looks like I am indeed going to have to do three. Okay, so much for that plan. So much for that plan. Because uh, some of the other fields I've plowed under here, everyone, uh, when you plow them under, when they have grass on them, that will give you the one application of fertilizer you need. Uh, if you remember from our cotton field way up here, that is what happened up there. Which, by the way, I've not done anything with the cotton fields yet, everyone. Those are still sitting up there yet. Uh, I was thinking we'll see what's maybe next episode. I want to maybe start working on it. I don't really have a plan yet. Um, it's probably just going to involve our derpy bale pickup uh, trailer that I created here a couple episodes back and see what's if we can make something go with that. 
Uh, it's still going to be a ridiculous number of trips here, everyone. A ridiculous number of trips. Kind of curious to see if we can incorporate course play into that at all. Um, not holding out hopes on that, but uh, I figure it's going to be worth a try. We'll see once here. Oh, anyway, I'm going to bring the lime spreader over to the field we were working on here last episode. I did finish this field, by the way. The field is finished. Uh, completely plowed. You can probably see it there. Should we go back over here? So, yes, this field is finished being plowed. Okay, not sure why I did that. Anyway, um, and then I have a fertilizer spreader working on that right now. He's been working on that for, uh, I don't know, quite a while. It's about half done. I just threw a hired worker on it. I figured an annual hired worker that should, uh, should get the job done eventually. If it's just on the eventually part anyway. I probably really should have plowed a couple more strips across here. I mean, I never even uh, checked that until I seen it now. Ah, uh, yes. The last time I looked at this field, everyone, it was dark out, so I couldn't see that. And I just looked, eh, it looks like it's okay. And it's kind of hard to tell from the map, too, given the size of the field here. So, anyway, throw a hired worker on that. Oh, no, no, he's going to have okay, have to get him over a little bit more yet. Thought I was over far enough. Apparently not. Yeah, I could create a course by course this one, but I... Don't think that's uh, really necessary per se. So, okay, there we go. Hired worker, way you go. Let him uh, take care of business over here. Like I said, it might take him a while. And if I get bored here, I maybe will have to come back. And actually, I do have the plows over here yet. We'll plow a strip across there and fix that. There's probably a spot up top here too. Yeah, it's missing up top. I don't know what's up with that. Why is course play doing that all of a sudden? Uh, course play sure comes up with new ways of being derpy, doesn't it? And you can see what it's doing here, everyone. It's being stupid. That's what it is. It's coming to the center point on the line here. Rather than going where it's supposed to, coming to the center point, and then it wanders over to where it actually needs to be in the lineup. I don't know why Course Play's doing that, but, uh, yeah. oh, well, whatever. They seriously need to fix some things, of course, but that's for sure. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, I guess I said that a couple times now. Let's grab a planter here. Grab a planter, probably not those. We are going to want, yes, the drills over here. Probably can just uh, go with one. I think that'll be more than enough to plant the uh, field there. It's not like the alfalfa field is a very large. And hopefully this uh, cedar will plant alfalfa. I didn't uh, check that. I guess we're going to check it right now. Okay, let's see what our verdict is. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. Excellent. It does. Okay. And double check here again, too. We are in the planting season for alfalfa, right? Alfalfa planting season. We are right smack in the middle of it. Excellent. Probably almost uh, just tell this tractor to drive down to the shop. Uh, that would probably actually be the uh, quickest way to get it down there, wouldn't it? You know what? I might just do that, everyone. Thinking we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I don't know if you noticed the uh, map here as well. When, uh, obviously, since the last episode, uh, things have gotten a little uh, darker, less green on the map, shall we say. Uh, yeah, apparently the grass on this map one dies. I mean, like, brown, black, gray, dead. Like, whoa. Not sure. I was driving, uh, oh, uh, where was I? I was driving down the grass strip here during the night. I mean, I'm like, what in the world? Is it the lights? I, I kept looking. I was like, what in the world is going on here? What is... Are the lights screwing with me? It wasn't until daylight, and it's like, oh. I guess that's what fall does to this map here. Not exactly what I would call very pretty, but... Okay, to the shop. Drive course. Stop at the last one, if you please. We'll let him uh, wander his way down there. I still have lots of silage to be sold yet as well, everyone. Um, I've kind of stopped on that, because, I don't know, of course, player, these trucks, I'm not sure what. They're just being a massive pain in the you-know-where. Uh, if you notice, everyone, they have all managed to bunch themselves right smack dab together here. I don't know how that is possible. But, yeah, they're all running right together. It's, uh, yeah, nah, it's kind of a bit of a disaster for Silent Sage. I'm just definitely not going well. I don't know if I'm going to have to put, like, one. Uh, I can't. If I put one truck at the course, everyone, it's going to take an eternity to sell silage. I definitely need to have a couple trucks on it. But they need to stop bunching up, and I don't know why they're doing that. Even when I spread them out, they're not. And this one isn't full either. Also, I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, yeah, course play is just not 
loading out properly from that silo. I again, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, course, has been doing some stupid stuff, that's for sure. So, oh well, we'll have to get that sorted out here at some point. Probably going to try re-recording a new uh, course, see once if that works or not. Uh, not holding out hopes on that, but hopefully it does. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, and then we're going to head over to the shop here. Large tractors. We're going to buy some equipment. I think I mentioned this here a couple episodes back. We need some more 9620RXs. I'm sure everyone agrees on that one, right? Good. Six hour wait. Uh, now we can just use the regular 80. No, no, no. That's what, 88 inch? Yes, that should be pretty good right there, I think. Uh, 36 inch track. Uh, three point, sure. Global positioning, sure. Starfire, yes. 9620RX, of course. Uh, sure, we can throw a 100 year celebration decal on there. Why not? Numbers, now nah, we'll skip the numbers. Long pipe and beacons, because <laughs> why not, right? Okay, there we go. Should have it all kitted out. Yeah, I'll take, um, I don't know, I'll take a bunch of them. How about like eight of them? That should be pretty good, right? I think that'll be a pretty good number. Anyone keeping track of how many I bought here so far? I think that was the third one, right? Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. And how about just one extra, just in case for good measure, in case I didn't count right? There we go. Otherwise, I got to go in and reconfigure everything again. Ah, isn't that just a pretty line up there? Ain't that pretty. Look at all that green. Hmm. Boy, that's good. That is good. More than eight of them here. Did I seriously miscount? Well, of course, I said nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ele Whoa. Someone miscounted. Don't you just hate it when that happens? <laughs> 11, 96, 20 RXs. Oh, well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to get a couple of these headed up. Actually, I can probably get all of them headed up to the farm probably right. Yeah, I think so. Get these all headed to the farm. We'll have to watch out. They might uh, run into that planter that's headed down this way. Stop the last one. We'll just uh, get uh, course play going here. Shouldn't take uh, too much here to get them all headed that way. And make sure we tell them to stop the last waypoint there again. Otherwise, they'll just uh, keep circling that course repeatedly. Not quite sure what the benefit of circling that course repeatedly would be, would be but that is how course play acts in this mode. So, gotta make sure you turn on that stop at the last waypoint there. And yes, everyone, these tractors are for the uh, next big project. Not all of them, per se. At least a couple of them, anyway, are for that. Probably a couple of them are going to be heading up to the uh, cotton field there at some point as well. Let's see. Let's hold up the right course. There we go. Uh, drive course. Activate. We need to get that uh, field turned around here as well. Though I can't really do anything with that field until I get the bales off that. That's kind of the sticking point over there right now. Like I said, we definitely need to uh, work on that here at some point. I'm just not entirely sure how to do that here yet. So, just not sure if course play. I'm sure course play can drive the course, everyone. And I can turn it on and it, you know, it'll pick up the bales. I'm just not sure what course play is going to do once it's full. I don't think course is going to behave properly, but I, I do want to try it just to see what's, what's going to happen. And like I said, maybe next episode we'll see once here. If we don't have anything else we can do ourselves, because I'm sure course play is going to be busy. Maybe look into uh, messing around with course play a little bit on that. I'm sure we can try some tricky stuff to get course play to do something, but I don't know again if that's going to work or not, so... Okay, there we go. All the tractors headed that way. Hopefully they're not going to run into the 9620R. It's got the triples and the big old planner on it there, so hopefully they'll uh, clear each other. Okay, next project here. Yes, the next project. You folks may have seen it here already. If I zoom way out, that's right, everyone. We got another great big field. I'm assuming this field's probably about the same size as our existing cotton field. Uh, this animal dealer, as far as I know, is in the middle of the map. I think it, at least it's supposed to be anyway. So give or take a little bit, this is roughly probably another 3,300-acre field. Uh, now, I can't really, well, I guess I could add this up. It's uh, 1,400, 1,400. 
422 acres, 1,577 acres, and another 572 acres. That sounds more like 3,500. Keep in mind, though, I'm not necessarily... Oh, yeah, that's because... Okay, yep. This uh, this one here... or these, This one here gets cut off by that animal dealer there and buy point. And that is a buy point, by the way, I guess. I'm, I've never actually checked it out myself, but apparently you can buy stuff there. So, yes, roughly probably another 3,300 acre field. I finished uh, plowing the perimeter of it here between episodes. Let's just say when that probably took a good two hours to plow the perimeter. And course play almost auto detected it, everyone. Uh, it detects uh, kind of like uh, these other big fields down here. Uh, it detects the three sides. If I zoom out here, it detects this side, top side, the far side there but it will not properly detect the front side. It, it just angles it off. It, it's weird. I don't know why one. So I ended up having to drive around that to, uh, to get it to work. It's kind of annoying, but I'm, it, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. And I am going to get the rest of our plows that I currently have down here headed up here. So for that, you know what? I'm going to start with a far one here. Oh, that one's going to be trying to cut across all the rest of these. Let's unload that. We want the course that's going to take us from the house. Where would that course be here? House. To field five. Yes. Uh, put you in transfer mode here first. Drive course. Stop the last one. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, field five is our cotton field. So it's not quite the right field, but that'll at least get us close to being up there. And then I can just drive. It's basically going to be on the other side of the buy point there. Or right up in that area. Okay, field work or a transfer mode and stop at the last one. And maybe what I'll do is I'll take this one, get rid of that course that's loaded on there right now. Oh, did I unload uh, that course on the rest of them? Uh, I guess they're doing what they should be doing. We'll see once here. Might have two courses loaded on some of those that might, uh, well, no, it says house to field five. Okay, no, we might be good. Might be good. Get some uh, GPS action going here. Control S. We're going to go east west. If I get this GPS lined up, I can get 99% of this, and I probably won't worry about the last little bit then. Hold home that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to miss just a little bit there yet, everyone. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. We're just going to call that uh, good. I can maybe move over just a little bit more yet. Try to get as much as we can. Oh, good. 9620RX has reached the trigger endpoint. Perfect. Perfect. 9620RX is in traffic. We're probably going to see a couple of 9620RXs in traffic here in a minute. Wow, we're almost uh, keeping up with the uh, other plows that are on the uh, course there. Interesting. Speaking of course, let's get that course uh, loaded up here because once we reach the opposite end... I'll just tell him to drive the course here as well. And I'll try to remember, everyone, I'll go probably, it'll probably happen off screen here. I will go plow a path across the other end of this field here as well. Again, it might not get all of it, but we'll try to at least get 99% you know, of it here. Actually, in some of these, I actually am getting all of it there, it looks like. Oh, well, close enough. With the sizes of these fields, everyone, I'm not going to worry about, you know, just a little bit of a grass like that. As we're going to call that uh, close enough. Because, yeah, you start worrying about that stuff, I mean, you're going to spend an eternity on this map working fields. I mean, the way it is, everyone, we're spending a ridiculous amount of time doing various things. Uh, I don't know if uh, you folks noticed the number of hours I have on this map here uh, already. I think you may have seen it. Was it last episode we were looking at the number of uh, cotton bales? 1,413 cotton bales, by the way. Already have 455 hours on this map here, everyone. Uh, currently, it's, the game's been running for 16 hours since the last time I started it. Ah, uh, 16 hours already. Oh, boy. Yeah, 16 hours ago. And no, everyone, that has not been me sitting here playing Farming Simulator for the last 16 hours. Uh, that is by no means what that is. That's simply just, uh, course play, uh, course play's been working in the background. Reminder here, by the way, if you'd like to uh, join us on the R.D. Allen multiplayer servers, you're welcome to do so. Information, again, down below in the uh, description there. 
Again, anyone's welcome to join as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Currently on Lone Oaks on server three, the server I typically play on. And then we also have Medicine Creek up on two of the multiplayer servers. And Corsplay, why are you, uh, why is Corsplay doing this? Corsplay has not done this before. Turn on field is deactivated, pathfinding is deactivated. I wonder if I turn that off. Mm, I don't know what difference that would make. The only thing I see set that seems like it shouldn't be set. Yeah, we're almost to the other end of the field here. Oh, and you can see the part here that has been uh, fertilized and limed here now. Speaking of lime, there's the uh, R4045 that is spreading lime as well. And yes, everyone, I do plan on picking up a couple more R4045. Whoa, my goodness. <laughs> what just happened there? Um, I do plan on picking up a couple more R4045s. Uh, and by a couple more, everyone, I probably mean like eight more. Uh, four more for lime, four more for fertilizer at least. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I saw that happening. Yep. I seen that was going to happen. Uh, leave it to course by to do that. Horseplay sure could uh, work on their uh, traffic collision. That is for sure. That's that is definitely something they need to seriously work on. It seems like it, it just doesn't seem like that is necessary. And uh, what I've said before, but it, it's really odd with horseplay too, because sometimes the traffic collision actually works. Uh, it's actually really cool. Sometimes out in the field, you can see horseplay. Oh, there's something here. It path finds its way around. And then other times I would just full blown send it, smash and crash and bash. It's like, oh, what did you just do there, course? But you were working perfectly fine, you know, course playing around something or coursing around something else, and now you're just gonna be, crash. I don't know, weird, weird stuff, everyone. Weird stuff. I by no means am a that type of programmer, so I don't quite understand what's going on in the background there with it. I haven't taken the time to understand either. That might be part of it, but. Uh, yeah, it just seems a little off. Seems a little off. Okay, let's go deal with this problem here. Got just a few 9620RXs lined up here. Just a few. And the stop point is way back there. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to cancel out of this course. We're going to go back and load up the course to field 5 here then. We'll go grab a couple more plows. I'm going to grab a total of eight plows. I think that's all the plows I have, right? Yes, I've got eight plows. Um, you know, I probably should have left the other tractors there because, as I was mentioning, I might pick up a couple more plows here because basically all the plow, uh, all the fields we have here kind of sort of need to be plowed or I need to do something to them so I can fertilize them. I guess I don't have to plow them. I could cultivate them as well. The cultivators are a little bit bigger, aren't they? And I do have a couple of those as well. That might be a little bit quicker. I'll have to think about that there. Uh, like I said, that is an option as well. Ooh, really dark looking up. Cultivators over there. Hmm, wonder why that is. Okay, drive course. Stop the last one. Hopefully course I can figure it out from there. Yeah, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Okay, stop you. Rid of that course. We're going to load up the field five course. And hopefully we can get everything up there this episode yet, everyone, so I can get the uh, course play course generated. That was the goal for this episode to start uh, plowing the big field there. Try to make that happen yet in this episode. We're quickly running out of time, though, I see. Uh, very quickly running out of time. Oh, and I never even got the alfalfa planner going either. Is he... Uh, Hmm, I don't see a 9620R that has reached the uh, stop point. Is he not there yet? Come on, he's got to be there by now. I think he's there by now. He's he's down by that area, that's for sure. Let's see if we can get these going here real quick. We'll go uh, check on that. I don't see him on the list, though, so he's definitely not stopping yet. Okay, next up. Oh, 
Well, that's interesting. Are they all finally at the uh, stop trigger endpoint there? Must have finally all pushed their way there, finally. Oh, now they're... Um, why do we got so many slipping for? Seems a little odd. There's not that many... Uh, there must be some, something else going on here, everyone. I just happened to occur to me. There's not that many 9620 RXs sitting in that lineup there, is there? There's something else has happened somewhere. Uh, maybe I should go check on this? No? Got the three there. We got those there. Weird. Unless the ones that have reached the trigger endpoint are also slipping at the same time. Is that possible? Gotta be what's going on. Gotta be. Because like I said, there's not that many 9620RXs over here anymore. There's what? Uh, three, three, uh, eight of them. There's eight of them. There's definitely more than eight in that list there. Oh, I didn't load up the course play course for this yet, did I? Field five. Okay, drive course. Stop at the last. And I need one more 9620RX, at least for this job here. I'll have to say, uh, a fairly impressive looking equipment yard yet, if I do say so myself here. I wasn't even with quite a bit of equipment out on the map here yet. Uh, this by no means is all the equipment, not to mention the cotton harvesters are still not here yet either. They are still sitting up by uh, field five. Which I think I kind of have it figured out how I'm going to get the cotton harvesters back to the top corner of field five. Uh, I can tell them to run the field five course, stop at the last waypoint, and the last waypoint, of course, is well, that corner of the field. I think that'll work, everyone. At least that's my plan, anyway. Seemed like a good one. We just need to get the cotton bales off the field here first. I, that's kind of what I am uh, think we need to do here first. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of a problem probably uh, getting the cotton harvesters uh, going diagonally across the field like that. Maybe a big field, but the chances of them hitting a cotton bale along the way, yeah, probably pretty good. Pretty good, if I had to guess. Okay, field work mode, or not field work mode, uh, transfer mode, field five, and stop the last one here. The uh, start point's right over there, so I have to bring him out to the road here first before I can tell him to drive. Or at least get relatively close anyway. Okay, there we go, drive course, you should be good. Uh, you know what, let me just uh, stop these all real quick here a minute, just so I don't have to look at that uh, message on the screen there. I don't miss one here. I'm going along the line. Next. Next. Yeah, they are still, like, trying to drive, aren't they? That's kind of weird. Okay, and two more here yet. Okay, there we go. All that good. Let's go take care of the planter here. He is just sitting here. That's odd. Not sure. Oh, 96. Oh, there he is. There he is on the list. 9620R has reached the uh, trigger endpoint. Nice. Already set on alfalfa. I'm just going to throw probably a hired worker on this one. I think that'll do just fine. I think. No uh, need uh, creating a course play course here. That'll uh, probably take... Uh, actually, this is not the biggest of fields, so it probably won't take too long to create this course. But, again, why bother when we should be able to let a hired worker do it? No problem, I would think. Oh, this reminds me, somebody did leave a comment here saying, wow, the uh, Bergolt DLC is really going to change things up for you on this map. Um, I don't think the Bergolt planner is really much wider than our John Deere here, uh, John Deere one here, is it? Well, I don't know if that's really going to change a whole lot, but uh, yes. I think I'll still be playing it. Yeah, I'll definitely be still playing on this map here when that uh, DLC comes out of it. So uh, I do plan, if that's the case, I'll probably will be uh, purchasing a couple of those planners for this uh, map. Once it comes out, and yes, everyone, that means I will have the DLC. I do plan on picking that DLC up. Actually, I've already picked it up. Got it on pre-order. Uh, is the fertilizer not getting applied here? Wait for this to update here a minute. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good, good. I was going to say, the fertilizer should be getting applied here. Probably really should cultivate that field, put another application down, but oh well. Kind of forgot about that. We'll call that good for now. Okay, one last thing here before we wrap it up. I know we're getting to the wrapping up point. Let's go ahead and create a course play course here for this field. I drove the field boundary here already. Yes, I drove the field boundary. Again, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, I could not get course play. 
to uh, detect it quite. It was so close, everyone, so close, but it just it wouldn't quite get something uh, something with this side here. I it just it wasn't doing it, and I tried a couple times. So I'm like, screw it, go get the truck, drive around it, create a field boundary that way. This, by the way, is how you always used to have to create field boundaries back in uh, course play, in the earlier days of course play. So. Uh, you folks that are new to course play, definitely a little bit spoiled compared to the way I had to do it back in the day, but let's see, what's our headland? Yeah, we're going to do a headland. Let's do, yeah, one headland should be good. We're going to max that out to eight tools, 15 meters. Um, yeah, that should be good. Should be good. Generate the course here. And I've got to say, too, you know, the advanced course play generator settings, that is pretty nice as well. Course play has definitely come a long way in like some of this stuff here. As far as the actual path finding goes, everyone, uh, course play is lacking. It is seriously lacking. Uh, this is taking a moment to generate this course. I generated one earlier uh, just for testing purposes. That one actually generated fairly quick. So I'm not sure why is this one taking. Oh, you know what? I might not have had headlands turned on for that course. No, I don't think I did, did I? Uh-oh. Did our course fail to generate? Uh-oh, everyone, that's not good. I think our course failed to generate here. What's up with that? Let's try this one more time. Field 8 boundary. Course generation. That's weird. It shouldn't have any problems with this. Field 8. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. That's why. Field 8. Yep, I need to set it to currently loaded course. Currently loaded course. Yeah, I probably didn't have that set right, did I? That's why. Um... Field 8 boundary, course generation, currently loaded course, multiple tools, 8, 15 meters. Okay, let's generate that one more time, headland around. Hopefully this will go uh, pretty good. And uh, while we're waiting for this to generate here, everyone, like I said, it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So, again, a reminder, if you'd like to uh, join us on TeamSpeak, that information again down below. Don't forget to check out the rest of my uh, social media channels as well. Those are all linked down below, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all those uh, fun and exciting places, of course. Ah, there we go. There. Now we have a course play course. Uh, why does course play generate it this way, everyone? If you notice, um, it, you know, it goes around, which the starting point is where I'm currently at. Then it goes all the way down to the opposite end of the field. That's where it's... Uh, yeah, course play. You know what? Also, is there... Yeah, okay. I guess that's what I want. Right? That'll work. We'll save that here in a minute. So on that note, with that, we're going to wrap this episode up. Again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.